if you are an IT professional with around 10 years of experience, which means your age is around 35 years and you want to shift or transition from a legacy skill set to a modern skill set, which means you may be having experience on legacy technologies, but now you want to move into or transition into or switch into a technical skill set, which will be forward looking. Then how do you do that? Here are some step by step instructions. Step number one is to find out your core interest area and your strengths and weaknesses. This is fundamental and a lot of people don't do this and look at your 10 years of work experience and write down specifically things which you are good at. These are probably the three skill sets which you are really good at and also the three skill sets which you are not good at, which means you are identifying your strengths and weaknesses. That is your first step, which is self-assessment. Please do that. After you have done that, look at the market and identify roles in which you will be interested. For example, if you are interested in cloud, okay? So in the cloud space, there are so many roles, okay? There can be a cloud engineer role. There can be a infra or a network related role in the cloud space. There can be an analyst role in the cloud space. So please find out the different roles that are there, I'm just taking examples, and then find out what are the underlying skill sets required to do these roles, okay? How do you find that? You can find that by going to Nokri.com or LinkedIn and reading the job descriptions. So you will find out the exact skill sets and experience that they're asking for in that cloud related role, okay? So now you have a role that you want to do, you know the skill sets that are required for that role, and you've already done your self-assessment. The third step is to tie down these two things, which is map your current skills with the future skills and find out if there is anything transferable, okay? You will always have some skills which will be transferable from your current role to your future role. Not all skills are transferable, by the way. Transferable skills are skills which are relevant today and which may be relevant even in future. Step number three is then to fill the gap. Because if there are certain transferable skills, there will be certain skills which you don't know, which you need to learn. So upskilling and reskilling is the step where you learn the new tech stack, which is required for this new role and you don't know that stuff, right? So you need to spend time, money and efforts in reskilling and upskilling. You can go to Coursera, you can go to Udemy, you can go to LinkedIn Learning, or there are so many other places where you will get to learn these set of new technologies, okay? So once you have done that, in fact, you can start to learn from free on YouTube. And once you have learned a little basic level, then you can go for a paid course. All right, so after this reskilling and upskilling is done, the next important step is to do a certification. Certification is basically a validation of your knowledge and skills. So any future employer who is going to hire you, they may look at certification as something which gives you credibility. Okay, so the next step would be certification. While this is not mandatory, but highly recommended. All right, so after you have done certification, now you need to look for experience. You need to gain experience. How will you gain experience? You should look for internal opportunities. Wherever you are working, you need to find out opportunities where you can contribute certain initiatives, certain projects where you may not be working full time, but if they can involve you in any capacity, that's your best bet. Okay, so look for internal projects or initiatives. Second is look for freelancing assignments where you can go and work for somebody who can hire you as a part-time developer or as a part-time analyst, etc. Sometimes you can do this work for free as well. The whole idea is to gain experience. Last but not the least, also look at contributing in open source projects. So trying all these alternatives will actually give you that much required experience in some form and shape. After you have done all of these things, you need to leverage your network, which means you need to talk to people in the industry within your own company where you work or outside your company, talk to people who are in that field. If you want to transition into cloud, look for cloud practitioners or people who have experience in that space. If you want to get into data science, look for people in that particular area. Try to see what they are doing. Try to connect with them. 
you can attend meetups you can attend conferences you can attend online sessions all right so networking is a very important step and networking is not a one time thing you'll have to do continuous efforts once you start to network you also need to seek mentorship so also talk to senior people who are already doing that role so if you want to get into cloud talk to senior people who are already in cloud if you want to get into data science talk to senior people who are already in data science these people can tell you what to do what not to do how to approach different scenarios they can share their own experiences and they can also introduce you to few people and that may open up opportunities all right after doing all of this last and most important step is to market yourself so your resume needs to be tailored and you need to include all the training certifications and any uh, part time or full time work freelancing work which you have done with respect to the new technical skill set you need to update your linkedin as well you need to update your nokri profile or other profiles as well you should also try to write some blogs or some articles about this new technical skill set that you have learned or maybe contribute or participate in hackathons workathons or other industry events following all these steps will take you towards the desired destination so it is a step by step transition it is not going to happen overnight and it is going to be challenging anything which is change is actually challenging and when you start to apply for jobs there are high chances that some companies may not entertain your resume because your experience may not be that great so try to apply in mid sized companies or smaller companies if you apply in those companies chances of you getting a call will be higher so when you are doing this kind of a transition you need to do a little bit of adjustments as well all right so switching at the age of 35 or after 10 years of experience is challenging but it is something which you can plan strategically and if you are dedicated if you put in the hours if you are keen on continuous learning and if you network nobody can actually stop you from making this transition happen All right I hope you resonate with this do let me know your thoughts in comments if you are new subscribe to the channel hit the like button and don't forget to share this video in your whatsapp groups I will see you in another video soon take care and bye for now